Diddy has gotten on the wrong side of many people over the years, and now Wendy Williams is one of them. It's payback time. That she was there in the office and that Suge was meeting Justin Combs and possibly holding him in his arms and that there was a photographer taking a picture and that wasn't the picture that we needed to see on our end or that we wanted the world to see. So I remember that day extensively. Um, it, was, it hit us like a rocket launcher or something. It hit us hard. Uh, I remember getting off the phone. It was almost damn near half a day, maybe two, three o'clock. Wendy Day was promoing, announcing something big was going to happen. Not Wendy Day, Wendy Williams, pardon me everyone. Radio personality, TV personality, Wendy Williams was announcing in her super highly rated that she had big news coming that involved Justin Dior Combs. Perked my ear up. I said, yo, what's going on? We started calling everybody. He was calling me. He got a heads up. He started calling the bosses at. Uh, the street team was listening. They heard. The executives heard. We instantly all left the office, 19th Street, some in cabs, some in cars, some running all the way down to Hudson Street where Hot 97 was, handle the situation. <laughs> and make sure that that picture was not exposed to the masses and was not delivered through Wendy Williams. In all of that frick of fracas, if you look back, history will tell you that she was let go from Hot 97 over that and had to go to another city to operate out of. And I think she remembers that in the way she should remember as something that happened that ran her out of town. And then she was able to come back and be the Wendy Williams that she is now today with all the success that she's had. But that was a snafu that day. Another picture got leaked too. Wendy Williams shared a photo of P. Diddy pulling down another man's pants. What did I mean about the power puff had? With the radio stations in New York, motherfuckers didn't breathe hard if Puff didn't want them to. If Tupac had anything salacious to say about Puff in that interview, and Angie Martinez, told Puff or let Puff, Puff heard it, and he told them, you can't play it, they wasn't gonna play it. Puff got one of the hottest DJs off of Hot 97 because she wanted to put up a picture of him getting his pants pulled down. You understand what I'm saying? Puff had power. Kirk Burrows, I did an interview with him some months ago, and he told a story about Wendy Williams. She got fired from Hot 97 because she had a picture of Puffy, and she was never went into detail about that. We were in Cancun and we were on our way to the Island of Women. And this is all it was, bruh. For whatever reason, dude was playing with Puff. He went behind him and grabbed his trunks and pulled them down. When he grabbed his trunk to pull them down, some girls that was taking pictures. They took the, that picture and emailed it back to Wendy Williams. <laughs> Wendy Williams said she had him in a compromising position and like it was gay porn or something like that, she was gonna put it out. They stopped her from putting it out. And they got her fired from High 97 because of that. Well, I think that we were in California at the time. He was shooting a layout for either Rolling Stone or Bill, but when he had the white suit on, I was the one who put him in the damn pool. What happened was is that Wendy had somehow shown people that email. She's shown people that email. Puff told Hot 97, if they didn't get rid of her before he got back in New York, that they was not gonna get any music from any of his friends, any of the record labels executives that was cool with him. Everybody was gonna boycott, boycott their station. We was out in LA for about three days before we landed back in New York. Wendy Williams was in the radio station in Philly. It was over for her. She was fired. Wendy used to be one of the popular hosts on Hot 97, but Diddy proved his power by getting her kicked off the station and banned from working there again. The prosecutors are saying that Puffy fired at least one gunshot into the ceiling yeah, of the nightclub, boy. which is like ridiculous. Um, this whole thing happened back, of course, in December of 99. Um, the comment came during the opening statements and three people were injured during a shooting. Shine and Anthony Wolf Jones, the uh, bodyguard, will also be standing trial. 
when the gunshots rang out, now whoever threw the, pulled the trigger, whatever, Puffy ran out of the club so fast and got into the waiting SUV that it wasn't until he got into the truck that he realized that he left Jennifer. It's Jennifer, Faye. Jennifer and okay. Wolf made their way to the SUV without Puffy. Right. They ran 11 lights to elude the cops. Um, supposedly it was Puffy, although people are saying they saw a female hand tossing a gun out the window. Uh -huh. When the cops stopped them, they found a second gun, of course, in the car. Right. All four of the occupants, the driver, the bodyguard, Puffy and Jennifer, were handcuffed and taken down to the precinct. Puffy and his bodyguard, Wolf, were overheard talking about their plot to bribe the driver to take the rap for the gun. And Puffy was overheard saying, and I quote, because the prosecutor said this, I can't go to jail, I'm Puff Daddy. Besides talking about Diddy's case on her show, Wendy also had moments when she took calls from people who exposed Diddy. One surprising time, Diddy himself called in, the question now is, what went wrong between them? Well, the answer might be right here. And then they started wearing girl pants, and then they're wearing jeggings, and then, yes, it's very effeminized, but be very clear, there were lots of homosexuals in hip hop back in the 80s too. Um, you know, what's worse, you know, hip hop wearing skirts or hip hop being closeted and having a plethora of kids to prove manhood that, you know, and, and denial of something that you shouldn't have to deny, which is your sexuality. So I hear what Jamar is saying, but uh, we come from a very homosexual era of hip hop as well. Radio personality, once upon a time, her name was Wendy Williams, and uh, she was practically burned at the stake for um, talking about such. Right, it was a, a Diddy situation. There were many situations, none of which to talk about, but there were many situations uh, back in the day in, in my career. It's all coming full circle now, so. Do you think, do you think now with people like Frank Ocean coming out of the closet, you know, he's not exactly a rapper, but he definitely holds a lot of the rap community. Mm -hmm. um, do you think that it's, it's cool, we're gonna have a, a time where it's cool to be a gay rapper? I don't know. Because I, I still see uh, Frank Ocean as being one amongst many, but one, and that's good. But there was uh, the notion of this radio DJ in New York who is in denial. So that just goes to show you how far the homosexual movement within hip hop and sports still needs to go. It is politically correct to be accepting, but behind closed doors, people are still hating. And Jason, the basketball player, is one, but it will be a long time before another actively playing in the locker room ball player comes out. And it's unfortunate. That's, that's where I am, you know, on it. You know, Frank Ocean, good for him. And Jason, good for him. Maybe Wendy wasn't just gossiping all those years. It seems like she was actually revealing the truth with all the evidence out there. I bet Wendy Williams is somewhere feeling like she's been proven right. Puffy yes. wants to have more children. And this time with his girlfriend, Cassie. Well, you know what? I don't mind this, because you know what? There's, there are people who have a lot of kids, and we call them sloppy, and we look at them like, mm-hmm. Puffy already has six children with three women, including hood triplets. That's, that's when you have these two girls are twins, and then this one here was born at the same time in another state with another woman. That's a hood triplet. When he was here, you know, because Puffy and I have been through things in the past, but now we're in a good place, so I'm yes. not gonna mess this up. Yes, right? Anyway, but yeah, he loves her and admitted it and went into it like extolling the greatness that is Cassie. He's proven to be a stand-up father and seemingly boyfriend and a stand-up businessman. So would you be bugging if you didn't have the ring? Clap if, you, clap if she needs the ring. I've got something very important to tell you. After 11 years of romance, Puffy and Cassie are officially broken up. It's everywhere, including People Magazine, so you know it's true. Puffy wants Cassie back. Oh, it's been all over social media. He's using it to try to help him, to get support. Cassie posted a photo of herself the other day. Here's the photo. And he commented, love you forever. Once upon a time, there was a music mogul who sent his all-girl group to beat my ass in front of the radio station. Fact, fact. And I get downstairs and find this girl group jump out of a gypsy cab to come after me. 
to kick my ass. And I'm like, for what? You know what I said was true. You all are broken. You were living in the project. This weekend I was invited to P Puff, thank you so much. Um, like, cause I have to be here on Mondays and I just, happy 50th birthday. People like you, I don't really understand. His actual birthday was November, November 4th. Why do you have to drag it out? We already know you're the king of everything and your sparkly jacket and stuff. Well. Six years ago on Sway's Universe, Wendy talked about the bad blood between her and Diddy. She said she forgave him, but maybe she forgot to truly forgive him. Oh God, and we, we have this clip of something P. Diddy said about you. What? Please welcome Sean Diddy Combs. Oh, that's a Diddy on your show, right? I, I must say it's been a long time coming. Yeah. And I want to just tell you how proud I am of you. I don't think you get enough credit for being the first one to really cover our culture. And, and, and just understanding that it's news, not just saying that's all that you covered, but you started shedding light wow. on our culture and our people, and thank you very much. And with that in mind, <laughs> I know I pissed a lot of people off, including you, mm -hmm. but this is a full circle moment, yes, everybody. Yes. How, how, you, listen, so man, I, I, when I saw that, Knowing that the history so. behind all of that? Because uh, you know the history. Yeah, well, break it down for our listeners. No. You know? I wasn't, okay. No, I don't feel like it. I'm exhausted. You're exhausted of the history. But y'all had bad blood for a while. Real you, bad. Real bad blood. The worst blood. The worst blood. You almost mm -hmm. he wanted to run you out of New York at one point, right? Run? Well, Man. not run. You know, like push you out of New York really? at one point. Oh, he was, oh, he had you ran out. You give him full credit for that? You get, okay, cool. He had you ran out of New York. And then y'all came full circle. Now he's on your show. How did that feel for you? Did wonderful. It feel, yeah. It felt wonderful. You know why? You know why? Like we were talking about fallen soldiers. Yeah. You know, people from our era mm -hmm. who die or you see somebody and they've, you know, they don't look the same in a mm -hmm. bad way. Mm -hmm. You know, you see, we see a lot of that mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. For me, Puff coming and representing the height of the Forbes list, the number one entertainer. He's number one. He, that's my error. I helped him do bad boy. He knows, he knows, mm -hmm. he knows. We were all in the trenches together at a particular time. Feel it, great. It, it, real great. Mm -hmm. And a real um, accomplishment, hopefully to show maybe some of the younger people mm -hmm. or somebody, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. somebody can try to, you know, do you in. But the, the power of forgiveness and the power of going on and making it. Cause I've always been motivated by haters, including my parents. Oh, I, I appreciate that and I will uh, cherish that moment. Did, do, I, did do, I have to do any due diligence beforehand? Or that was the first nope. time when you saw him on stage? Was uh, the first excuse me, what yeah. did I just talk to you yeah. about when you tried <laughs> to say hi to me in the hall? Yeah, yeah, don't talk to me, Sway. <laughs> yeah, go back in the room, come on now. He wanted to come. Yeah. Okay. Puff wanted to come to the show. It's been a long time coming because, you know, schedules have to be negotiated and whatnot. But he showed up. He smelled great. His stomach is flat. Heather, he was handsome. And uh, he ain't going nowhere. No. Clearly. Can't be stopped now. Can't stop, won't stop. Bad boy for life. Bad boy for life. That was a big moment for those yeah. who know. That was, and I, and I was happy for the both of you. Diddy's made enemies, including Wendy Williams. She leaked a photo of him pulling down another man's pants. Wendy got booted from Hot 97 because of Diddy. She's been exposing industry secrets and now she's feeling vindicated. Six years ago, she forgave Diddy, but maybe she didn't really. But guess who's laughing now? Puff's got six beautiful kids. And I am particularly fond of your twins because I love a twin situation. And that one on the left, <laughs> person, her lips like, mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but I, lo I love that you have, okay, six kids, three babies, moms. Yes. Okay. And they all taken care of. I, you know, that's right. I know. I know. I, I <laughs> look. <laughs> you, you know? No, 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 but I, but I, I want to tell you the story about that. I, I, I met all of them in the same year, so I've known huh? all of them the same amount of time. But we, we were friends. Uh, no, 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 listen, listen. Whoa, why did I do that? Um, <laughs> did you meet all in the no, same No, no, I, I was just setting? trying to say it wasn't like I just was running around, you know, um, through my career and just, you know, every couple of years just um, being with, 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 with a new person. Like, this, these are people that were my friends and then I would get my heart broken and then my friend would be there and I would fall in love with my friend and then I would get my... Heartbroken again. So it, are you in love now? Yeah, I'm in love now. <laughs>
and I, and, I, and I wasn't I was in love then, you know? Yeah. But you've been in love with Cassie for a while. Like you yes. guys, this is I mean, I'm not saying that that you're sloppy or anything like that. <laughs> But I know <laughs> that outside of your baby's moms and taking care of your kids and your empire, mm -hmm. you do like to party, okay? Yes. And there's nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. I'm shocked that you and Cassie have gone this far. Mm -hmm. Like the distance. What is it about her that, you know? I mean, it's just like when a record comes on, the way she moves. Yeah. Like when I look at her, the way she smiles. Oh. Um, the way I see her look at me sometimes when I wake up and she's already awake, you know? And the Met Gala, what the sitting on the steps was going on? What, 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 what is going on here? I'm gonna be honest, like, they didn't have my tickets right the year before, so I said I'm gonna stun on them and sit on the stairs as my woman looks good and takes those pictures. Yeah. <laughs> Stay here.